assalamu alaikum uh, so we were uh, discussed uh, already discussing the um, principles of the bank advance that what are the main principles that when bank advances the loan so we discussed the three main principles now today we will discuss the fourth one principle that is profitability profitability equally importance is the principle of the probability profitability sorry in the bank advance like other commercial institution bank must make profit look at the main functions of the bank as we discussed in our previous lectures that is lending uh, sorry that is accepting deposits and lending loan so when they are accepting loan at a low interest rate and lending those loan at a higher interest rate so the difference between the lending and bar uh, the uh, de, uh, accepting percentage that is the profitability margin and each and every institution commercial bank is also they are seeking for the profit so the profit of lending loan to the borrower so the bank will keep profitability margin also in the their mind firstly they have to pay interest on the deposits received by them they have to incur expenses on the establishment on the rent on the stationery on the office salary etc etc so they have to make provisions for the depreciation of the fixed assets and also for any possible bad or doubtful debts so all these will keep to buy the bank in the mind and after that they will keep a markup of the profit margin as well as it doesn't means that that they are uh, charging interest from the borrower so those interest will not cover the cost and expenses of the bank so the rate of interest should be profitable means that they will cover all the cost and expenses which i mentioned like the payments of this is the the lending amount that is not the own money of the bank that is the deposits of the other savers and on this deposits the banks make payments in shape of interest to the account holder so bank will keep in a mind that the interest payments of the deposits the different expenses they are taken place like salaries of the implies depreciation of the fixed assets of the banks rent of the bank's buildings and similarly there are different expenses which taken place so the mm-hmm. the the interest they are charging by the bank so there should be a profitable markup margin as well as and dear students keep in mind that this is a cardinal principles for making investment by the bank that it must earn sufficient profit it should therefore invest in such securities which was sure a fair and stable returns on the funds invested the earning capacity of security and shares depends upon the interest rate and the dividend rate and the tax benefits they carry on so it is largely the government securities of the center 
or central bank or the state bank or the local bodies that largely carries the exemptions of their interest from the taxes. So the bank should invest more in such security rather than in the share of the new companies which also carry tax exemptions. This is because the shares of the new companies are not safe investment. So profitability is another one principles that bank should keep in the mind. Next one principle is diversification of security or diversified security. Another important principle of the making loan is the diversification of advances. Bank should not give loan only to only in one sectors. They will give this loan to diversified sectors. Why? The reason is that one if to huge amount is given as a loan to one sector and if that one sector they are crash they have financial problems so now this is very risky but if loan is sanctions advance is sanctioned into the different sectors as a portfolio in the diversified securities so in this way the risk is distributed if one sector are in loss, so another sector will be in the loss, uh, in the profit. So that's why diversification of the security is also an important principle. An element of risk always present in, in every advance, in every loan. Even though if we give those loans to our friends and family members, so a risk is involved over there. Time risk. Time is also a risk. Time value of money. So banker is keen on spreading the risk involved in the lending. Over a large number of borrowers, over a large number of industries and areas and over different types of the security, they will make investments. Like they will sanction hmm, uh, individual loans they will also give business loan and some portion of that money they will also buy the bonds the common stock the preferred stock the treasury bonds the treasury notes the t-bills etc so if in one sector they are uh, make investment that will be high risky that's why uh, making investment in the diversifications are in the diversified security shape so they will minimize the risk of the loss of the bad debts for example if he or she had advanced too large a portion of this funds against only one type of the security so he or she will run a big risk if that class of security steeply decreased in the value so diversification of the security that is another one principles of the lending of the loan next one is the national interest it doesn't mean that the bank will look their own interest and they will not think about the national interest national interest is also important one. Even when an advance satisfied all the above mentioned principles, either purpose principle, safety principle, liquidity principles, they are satisfying. So still it may be not be a suitable. Why? 
if all the principal liquid purpose safety diversification we follow but if this loan is used this is once is not used in the best interest of the nation the best interest uh, interest of the country so this is what this is a non beneficial so the advance may run counter to national interest this money should be used in the best of the national interest as well as the federal central bank may have issued an order prohibiting the banks to allow the particular types of the advances they will not allow such type of the advances such type of loan which is used in the anti interest of the national income and in the national interest look at if the money of the bank that is used by industrial sectors so look at industrial sectors they also helping in the financial growth of the country as well as they are also helping in controlling the unemployment so if the industrial sectors of a country is moving towards the strength financially they are moving towards the strength so they are positively affecting the economy of that country as well as if the loan amount the bank loan advances they are used in the agriculture sectors so agriculture sector is also a big boom in the economy if the money that are the loan amount that is used in the services sectors so again services sectors the country economy is also depends upon the services sector as well as so that's why when banks they are sanction the loan so they will also check out that either this loan amount is used in the national interest or not if that money is used against the national interest so it is harmful so the bank should ensure that that the advance amount that is loo that is used as a national interest or not so dear students hope you will understand now that what are the main principles of the bank advance you can also apply these principles on yourself as well as when you give loan to someone like your friends or family members so first you will think that either our loan amount is safe or not safe then you will check out the liquidity of that loan that either this loan will be liquid or not then third one and you sanction the loan to your friends and family member so you will ask the purpose that for what purpose you are taking this loan if the purpose is productive so sanction them give them loan if that is non productive so not give them loan then profitability also you will check out that what is your profit like if i am your friends or family member you give me 2 lakh afghani and after 3 years i give the same 3 lakh afghani so it means that you lost why due to time value of money the value of the money going towards devaluation so when you sanction loan to someone so you will check out your prof 
profitability. What is your profitability? Then diversification of the security you will check out. And similarly the national interest. So this was the main and general principle of making advance. So hope you will understand this topic. Inshallah with the new topic I will be with the new lecture. Till then Allah Hafiz have a good time and keep in mind if you have any question so please and please don't hesitate while asking any kind of the question in the WhatsApp group. Allah Hafiz, see you.